Once again, to perspectives. So once again, a quick reminder: we're live, so any tweets during the show will be included. At least I will try to include them. My request: uh, do not do multi-part tweets, longer tweets, which I can't comprehend and cannot repeat. NA250 in Karachi is Karachi's hot seat. I say hot seat because everyone, who's anyone, wanted to contest in the seat. Tonight's show is a uh, is really a very interesting show. Uh, it's not at all what I had planned it to be. Uh, let's see how it evolves. We have uh, we have till 10 o'clock. Let's see how things go. When I say it's not what I had planned for, that all of my guests, one by one, except for one, have not shown up. And, uh, and the reason is unexpectedly, um, uh, unexpected congestion, traffic congestion in, in Karachi. And just about everyone is stuck in traffic. Um, and a 250 was the main focal point of the show tonight. It still is. But when I said it's become very interesting, uh, I'll explain that to you in, a, in, in just a second. People who, who were interested in NA250, which is Defence Clifton and the adjoining areas, was Mr. Pervez Musharraf, whose um, application was rejected. Um, and Ms. Um, Afis Siddiqui's sister, who I don't know if she's still contesting or not. Dr. Ari Palvi from Pakistan Tehri Kensaf. Mifta Ismail from PMLN, who has now conceded in favor of Mr. Nehmatullah Khan of Jamaat Islami. So there's no PMLN from the seat anymore. Mr. Nehmatullah Khan regretted he could not make it, so uh, he was uh, he, he won't be here tonight. Mr. Rashid Rabani from Pakistan People's Party, he was also busy and excused himself, so he will not be here tonight. Ms. Khushbo Shujaat from Mutayda Kami Movement, who will be joining us over the phone in a little while. Uh, Mr. Karman Desori, um, a renowned businessman of Karachi from Pakistan Muslim League F. And the most interesting, which is the interesting part tonight, is Mr. Gibran Nasser, who is a lawyer and an independent candidate. I'm going to be very honest. He was not really going to be a part of tonight's show because I'm going to accept my ignorance that till this morning, I did not know there was an independent candidate for NA250. And it's very fair to assume there can't be an independent candidate of any stature because whatever he's up against is insane. It's a crazy competition with Ms. Khushpa Shujaat. Mr. Arif Alvi, Mr. Rabbani, these are heavy, Nehmatullah Khan, these are heavyweights. And NHF 250 is Karachi's hot seat. But the way this show has become interesting, that nobody has shown up yet, except for Mr. Gibran Nasser. So guess what? At least for now, he's getting a solo show on PTV World. Gibran, thank you very much for being here on time, if I may. <laughs> thank you for having me, and thank you to the God for favoring me. For favoring you. <laughs> Well, has God only favored you to the extent of the show? Or do you think God is actually favoring you otherwise as well? Um, so in my personal capacity, that's only where I like to talk about God, not in terms of my politics. Mm -hmm. But yes, I have been fortunate enough to find the support I already have, mm -hmm. to be able from being a person not known to you till yesterday, and now being mm -hmm. on your show live on PTV World, and it's a huge audience. Mm -hmm. So yes, things have worked in my favor since I have been audacious enough to contest for NA250 as an independent, given the fact that it is, it is a constituency which is filled with political heavyweights. Okay. Um, you were just telling me you're 26 years old. Um, I just turned 26 in February. This is just over the line of minimum age to be... Almost a, a year above, a year over the line. You're going for National Assembly and Provincial Assembly. National How much Emperor. money do you have? My <coughs> campaign uh, fund started with 25,000 rupees, All right. which was half of my salary of last month to put in. The remaining half I put in a pocket to pay the personal expenses. Mm -hmm. And till, till now, I'll be very honest, I've gathered up to a lakh. People, people are donating. People are donating, friends, some strangers, some relatives, distant relatives. My immediate family is not supportive because they like, supportive. they like to discourage me because, you know, being in politics in our insecure environment has its price, primarily being your life and being politicized so early in your life could also have consequences in finding uh, job placements in the future. 
that's how society works. But well, you're a lawyer. I'm sure that be that it, the policy is only going to in your favor. That depends. Political lawyers are, are they do quite well. Uh, they do quite well, but that depends if I want to keep my practice clean or I want to thrive on bar politics. I mean, not to take away from anyone who uh, participated in bar politics, but uh, I believe the two should be kept separate. You're very openly critical. I'm going to come to that in a second. Um, why not PTI? And I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll explain why I'm asking the question. But why not PTI? I, till a year ago, was a PTI fan. I was in the Jalsa standing on my feet for six hours opposite Mazare Kaid. Uh, like every single uh, youth in this country got swept away by the new phase change or coming your way, I was too. But then once I joined it, you know, as sanity strikes later, I started searching up on the party, on its policy, on its past performance, and then say that, you know, Imran Khan is something who's never been tried before. With all due respect to, this, to Mr. Imran Khan and his achievements, he has spent almost four years in parliament. And he did take some steps while in parliament, while holding the NMNA seat, which I heavily disagree with. And in certain policy statements the party has made in the past, with, for which they have not given any explanation. For example, everybody knows jamaat e ulama islam fazl Rahman group stance on Taliban. Mm -hmm. They don't necessarily consider them as terrorists. Mm -hmm. Back in 2002, Imran Khan voted for Mulana fazl Rahman for premiership, for prime minister. He didn't vote for Mizafullah Khan Jamali. He did not vote for Shah Mahmood Qureshi, who right now is the vice president of the party. Interesting. Two, okay. 2006, the women's rights bill was passed. Imran Khan Saab opposed. MMA walked out. Nawaz Sharif abstained. His reason, quote unquote, for opposing was that I am against the Hadood ordinance and this law is aimed towards amending the Hadood ordinance. Because the Hadood ordinance was a dictator's law, and this law is being passed by a dictator as well, technically under Pervez Musharraf, I'm not going to support it. Well, if you were against the Hadood Ordinance, even being a single member, as you can pass a private member's bill. Did he introduce a single reform, a single amendment to the Hadood Ordinance in the four years he was in Parliament? No. So just making that political statement and defending himself, I would not buy that, being a lawyer, knowing how the Parliament works to a certain extent, and being a concerned citizen of a society. Then later on, he opposes reserved seat for women and then justifies it later by saying that, oh, I believe that women should be given equal rights. Well, doesn't he still have a women's wing in his party? A separate wing in his party? Isn't he also, uh, and talking about equality, on general seat, only four women have been given tickets. All right. Uh, furthermore, I believe women in, the, in our society, especially in the rural areas, and this is a social phenomenon. I don't like to sound patriarchal, but we live in a patriarchal society. Mm -hmm. Women are, in majority, a repressed and suppressed segment of the society. They need to be given tools, reserve seats being one, where they are facilitated, and they get the confidence to come and contest. And uh, if you PTI is not doing that? I mean, PTI by opposing reserve seats for women, how are they going to achieve that? No, but, I, but, but I, th I think that that issue came up on a show last night, and Naz Baloch said that what Khan had said was that he does not want inherited seats and, and people, I mean, it was a contorted way of saying that he's not against reserved seats for women, but he's against reserved seats which are used to bring in family members. I don't know what that means. See, the point being that if Imran Khan is going to sweep elections, and if Imran Khan is not going to give any seat to a family member, then the reserved seat should work in his favor, because then he'll have a reserved quota where he can fill in competent and women on merit. But he's opposing that very fundamental right. And furthermore, when people okay. say... Oh, I am contesting independent. I could very well say that one inspiration has been Mr. Shah Mahmood Qureshi, the Vice President of PTI, who is contesting independently from Mithi and Tharpa. No, no, he, apparently he's not. People keep saying he's not. From I mean, His papers are filed. I don't know if he's withdrawn them, but he, he, his papers are filed on Mithi and Tharpa. That is a documented fact by the media of this country. So why, so, so why, why, why do PTI members keep saying, no, he's not? The PTI members keep saying a lot of things. That's the thing. I don't know where the policy is going and why is this so much... I mean, and in any 250, you're very much... I mean, I would not like to go into pers per, uh, politics or personality. I have so far tried to run a clean campaign. Um, I read it in the media. Notable newspapers reported it. Again and again, the contradictions were coming. But again and again, these, in, uh, these things were uh, confirmed that he is also contesting independent from these two seats. Specifically, these two seats were identified. But I have my own personal reasons for running independent. For not joining PTI, I've already told you. Okay, we'll, we'll talk more about that. Uh, someone is correcting me, Mr. Sharia Khan, 
has corrected me on uh, Twitter saying that Mr. Mahfouz Yar Khan of the Awami Muslim League is also contesting in A250, AML Sheikh Rashid faction of the Muslim League. So thank you for the correction. Uh, Salah Badud Khan has asked if you would join any party if you win. If I was to be elected, I will definitely try and sit on the treasury benches because that will put me in a position where I can do something for my constituency. However, being an independent would allow me the flexibility to vote on merit for every policy and for every law. I would not have to tow any party line. Okay, I need to interrupt you. I'm going to take a very short break. Um, all right, I guess, um, uh, I, think, I, think, I think not. Um, uh, Dr. Arif Alvi of Pakistan Tariq and Staff will be joining us shortly. We'll continue with the discussion. He'll join us in a moment. Um, Gibran, it's, it's fortunate that Dr. Arif Alvi is going to be here very, very in, a, in, a, in a moment. I say fortunate because you seem to have a lot to say about them. Um, and you say PTI is the reason you're going independent. Now, question. Which PTI is not one of, well, one of the reasons. Because there weren't any options. There weren't any options. Yeah. Given the heavyweights on NA250, Dr. Arif Alvi, a very dear friend of mine, like a brother, but he's, he's a heavyweight now. I mean, he's, he's been the face of PTI for years. And the face of Mr. Khushbuk Shijar. I mean, really, he's a ma- massive heavyweight. Nematullah Khan, tried and tested, heavyweight. With people like them, what's, what chance do you, what, do, you, do you stand? I believe in a manifesto. <clears throat> and right. when people say, are you going to win? I say, why not? Are people in this country blind and deaf to the voice of sanity? I invite people to come and read on my manifesto. It's on my Facebook, facebook.com slash Muhammad Jibran Nasir. And if you agree with the points I'm saying, and if you really feel that other parties are not talking about those points, then first of all, petition your own parties, why not they're talking about it? And if they feel I'm talking correct, then yeah, join me. Okay. Uh, Ms. Maham Kedwai says your guest said that he wouldn't have to do any party line if he wins on his own. But how would he gain support for his views? I'll take your answer in a moment. Dr. Arif Alvi. Thank you very much for being here. It's become a very interesting show, actually. I'll tell you why it's become an interesting show. No one could make it because of the traffic jam in defense. You're the first one, and of course. And, and lo and behold, guess what happens? Gibran, an independent candidate, shows up, and he gets a, and he gets a free feel. <laughs> and, and he gets a free feel. He gets a free feel. All right. Gibran says that uh, PTI failed him. He was standing at Jalsa for six hours on his feet, but then he feels that if Shami Ud Qureshi can contest on, uh, on, on a reserve, on, 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 a, on an independent seat, why can't he? And he feels that PTI went back and Imran Khan went back and he's got comments about reserve seats, women's reserve seats. He's got comments about women's exactly. rights bill that, you know, Khan opposed it and, and things like that. How would you, how would you comment on that? I wish him good luck. Uh, like he says... Yeah, he right. You don't wish him good luck. He was you want the good luck for yourself. Yeah, but, but you see, I admire the fact that he's come out. He wants to contest the election. And like I said, you know, there are parties which are under pressure not to contest also. And Again, I, my apologies. I, 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 I think I need, I'll, I'll take a short break here. Um, uh, your voice is uh, we're having some, some technical issues um, sh- let's take a short break mm. thanks for staying with us you're watching Perspectives my apologies for technical issues um, Dr. Sab- I don't want this to become a PTI versus independent um, uh, show, but I would like to raise one question. Why is a young person not, and he's representative of the educated society, Definitely. not that confident that there was this initial faith and frenzy and confidence in the whole PTI movement? That has weakened, we must admit, to some extent, maybe not to a great extent. Why? Does he have so many reservations which have not been answered out of curiosity? I think that he will have to answer himself. But I would like to encourage him because we need youngsters in politics. Mm-hmm. Uh, it would be a good experiment. Like I said, I wish him luck. Uh, it would be a good experiment. It would be a good maturing process. And it would be something which other people can learn from. And uh, I'm, I want to give an example that uh, uh, in the 80s, mm-hmm. in the 90s, early 90s, I thought that uh, we some five friends of ours, we should join a political party and because we were speaking the truth and because we had reasonable manifesto, 
we would be able to make a dent but uh, 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 unfortunately i think uh, to make a party to build a party requires a lot of in pakistan charisma doability and i would like but to encourage him to look into that yes i would like him to look into that <coughs> and i think he has started on the right track he is contesting an election as an as an independent and uh, if he wins very good if he doesn't he should be looking at joining a political party making a political party is a huge effort it's taken us 16 years 17 years it has taken me a lifetime to select a position i have been with a, a, another political party in my early years and it has taken me a long time to put focus into and prioritization of ideas and the doability that i am able to do something in a huge party we we believe that we will be able to bring in a naya pakistan based on our manifesto and as people come together uh, the, my ideas may not be exactly what the party is doing but i have uh, i have given way to other people's ideas incorporated them we have had discussions we have had disputes we every manifesto every line in the manifesto every policy we came about and we had very hot disputes and debates on what to do so bringing people together is a is a skill which we learn with time i wish him good luck and i don't think uh, it could be a pti versus an, an independent show because he's been my patient i must have seen him as a child <laughs> and i must have seen him for quite a few years so um, let's i i take, i, I think take miss khuba shujaat on the telephone as well if she if she if she's available um okay jibran even if you don't win you'll make a you'll make it you'll, you'll make a strong statement I like to Hope ask so. I'd like to ask both of you um why has NA250 become such an interesting point where people were arguing people were fighting there was there was debate on who will get it Mr. Pervez Musharraf was interested everyone is in NA250 and which I'm, I'm invoking and I've dedicated the show to NA250 is it does signify it does sort of it is it, supposedly it's perceived to be the upper echelon the upper middle class or the or the elite class or the or the higher educated so why has everyone sort of focused in on that area i think one of the reasons was that people believe that this is a uh, uh, an elite elite, I think? elite constituency where people are educated mm-hmm. and i am sorry to disappoint those who think like that because uh, there are more votes in the kachi abadis mm-hmm. there are more votes with the common man there are more votes where areas are absolutely contrasting to what defense looks like there are areas where if you spread both your hands you will touch the walls of the lane sure uh, imagine that you know nothing can go in there are, there are many areas where there is no water there is sewage flowing on the roads there are sure. no hospital facilities no it's just uh, chaotic child care nothing is chaotic and poor very poor education and you have a contrast you have a, 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 a railway school in a basti with no windows and across that you have a good foundation public school sure. uh, in that abad just across you see and i got educated in a government school that's fine but that's but, remarkable. but, but, so, but, but, but the was standard was better it no constituency is easy let me tell you because you have to look at the aspirations of the people you have to make a small manifesto okay and and you and will it will it on yourself and your party that if you come into power or even if you don't if you want to own a constituency in the sense mm-hmm. that you like a constituency you like the people there you try and work there we've been having three uh, uh, sasta tandoors for sure. the last four years right in the same mr bashat is on the phone now khushbu uh, sahab can you hear me yes i can hear you okay. but i don't know what you were talking about i i that, i i I'll, I'll, the i'll update you just now uh, unfortunately a lot of the contestants uh, got caught up in traffic in karachi so we have dr arif alvi from pakistan tehreek and safia and mr jibran nasser who was an independent um, uh, contestant against you uh, i was talking okay. to you earlier and you had a lot of reservations about your constituency so please go yes. ahead and 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 tell me you know what you're feeling uh actually right now i'm uh, also in my area mm-hmm. and uh, you know it, it is election time so so i'm just roaming around here and there because the people are calling and they're inviting us and it's their affection uh, when they are saying that you should come and want to see you and you want to you know show our love so i'm in uh, one road sometimes i'm i'm in in different area sometimes i'm in some kachi abadi whatever is going on mm-hmm. but the thing is this in nowadays 
it's a very scary feeling in the environment the people are not uh, um, uh, are in the same you know page uh, i i contested this election last 5 years back mm-hmm. and it was a full you know season was uh, uh, in the air sure there was and there was an atmosphere was beautiful, absolutely beautiful you know um, environment at that time but uh, nowadays it's 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 scary and i'm so thankful to all of my you know supporters and voters who are in this situation also calling me inviting me my my um, you know people uh, my supporters they all are standing so it's a big thing that they are they are doing this with for me and for my party so um this is the thing which is uh, you know hurting me a lot this time that my why we are not you know contesting election like we we were we have been like last time doing okay mr that is actually really i mean i couldn't you know agree with you more it's, it's unfortunate the way things are right now um uh, i was talking earlier to someone and they commented that what have you done for na 250 in the past 5 years that they should vote for you again how would you answer that first and i tried my level best being a human being whatever is my you know strength i did a lot mm-hmm. i'm alhamdulillah and i'm thankful to my god that i don't have any guilt in my you know heart about this that i didn't do anything for them but whatever i had in my hand whatever i had for this na250 i did that but still there is a lot to do there's a lot to do because it's a very multi color and multi you know um, uh type of a uh, constituency the posh area defense clifton sure. and inside posh area there are lots of slum areas mm-hmm. and then burns road southern then the diplomat are living here the councillors are here sure. and apart from that a very 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 you know kachi abadi type of area are also so uh, the things and the problems are very different in uh, in in one lane if you'll go and uh, the people can buy water the people can buy generator and uh, they have uh, the problem uh, of mr shah that is that generation. that is fine but, but, my, but my but my but my focus to the kachi abadi mr shah the focus, focus of my question to, is Uh, the the question was and and jibran also wants to ask you a question jibran go ahead please i actually would like to comment that i thank god that the election season is not like it was 5 years ago because i do not want to see each and every single wall of my constituency being choked with political slogans with personal slogans against other personalities i do not want in in irregularized banners and flags hanging from every pole which is a hazard to the pedestrian which is a hazard otherwise this time the ecp has put down strict policies against wall chalking against those banners and that's perhaps you do not see the fervor on the street yes but i think mr jaz's point is that there, there there's no freedom to politic and to into into converse there are ways, uh, openly there are ways to be political and there are ways to be converse i travel around without any security protocol being the common citizen of pakistan i am going around and meeting people i am walking into kachi abadis and colonies i don't like to use the word kachi abadi introducing myself without fearing because as a public representative that's what you sign up for the security concern of this country don't shy away from it own it put yourself in the limelight put yourself <coughs> in the forefront own it experience it and that's how you will experience and learn what the common man goes through if you want a special protocol for you if you want a big rally behind you and if you want the government to facilitate you in every manner then you know you're asking everything for in a plate where is the struggle travel with some empathy with the common man thank god that acp has laid down strict policies because by that time they're preventing these political parties from vandalizing public property which they do whenever they want to do and as far as the past 5 years are concerned you know i've gone into certain areas where they say these parties never came these parties are only coming now for the past 5 years no water no electricity nothing for our drainage nothing for our sewage go to shahar school it comes in the na250 go to neelam colony it comes in the na250 go to hijrat colony it comes in the na250 mr shahat what would you say to that uh first of all i would like to clear one thing that i am not talking about the protocol or the security measure i am talking the whole scenario which is going on in the karachi and mm. the people are scared about that and i am also having no protocol since 5 years people know that i am going in 
in, in the city, in everywhere, even Faisal, you know me, that sure. I'm going with my driver or with my husband everywhere in the, in, in the city. So I don't need protocol, I don't want protocol, and I hate this culture, and I was the person who was standing and uh, pointing out this on the point of order, that please, this VIP culture, we should stop all these nonsense. Number two, uh, uh, your guest is saying a very good thing, that there is no wall chalking, nothing. But I can send you the photocopy of those photographs which I took today. And I was shocked to see that oh, so many walls are, you know, uh, you know, colored by the slogans of the different parties. None, uh, not a single wall chalking you can see of my name, of my MPAs or my party. But in this defense and Clifton area, where it is, it is prohibited. But Lots of wall chalking is there, wall, lots of flags are there, but we still not started that. So I'm also against of this. I'm not saying that I'm, say, I'm, I'm in favor of this, that you should have to put the wall chalking and flags and this is not the election. Election is that you have to participate in, in with a liberty. You can go outside without any fear. So I'm talking about that on the election day, when the people can come out and they will vote to their, you know, liking person, then it will decide it that the, how the election is going on. Okay, Mr. Jad, and the other thing that he is saying that yeah. Neelam colony and the other colony, look, Fessel, 65 years problem in these, you know, Kachia bodies, 65. And after this local body system, it is such a, you know, Garbage everywhere, everywhere. And mm -hmm. what are, we are trying to say that we need this local body system for all these things. The legislators, the MNA MPAs are doing this because my party leader is saying that whether you are an MNA or MPA, you have to go in the public and you have to work because we represent it, uh, public and we are the Shiyas, do, do, do know, do you know what's interesting? Public, uh, you know, but the thing is this that the local body system has finished and the areas are covered by the garbage and the things are going worse. And if after the election they will not do the uh, local body system uh, uh, will uh, revive, then the things will go worse, I'm telling you. So okay, I, 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 need, I need to ask you two questions quickly. One, is your Twitter account real? I just saw that you're actually tweeting from Khushbakh MQM. Is that you? Yes, Fushbak MQM. That is your Twitter account? Yes. Okay, great. So now you're on Twitter. Now, the other interesting thing, the thing that's happened, that happened just now is that the moment you came online, my Twitter feed has gone insane. People are just tweet, tweeting constantly. Uh, but unfortunately, they're not all positive. Uh, they are positive, but they're negative uh, tweets as well. And people are saying that it, it was in your tenure that there were security issues. People had blocked roads. And, uh, and, 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 and the poshest and the leeches of the areas suffered heavily. Was it under your domain and control to fix this problem? And if so, then why did you fail? And if this wasn't in your domain and control, please explain why not. Professor, this time, the last five years, mm -hmm. yes, we suffered a lot. Because we were with the government, but we were not the government. Okay? okay. But before that, from 2002 till 2007, there was no target killing in this, you know, Karachi. There's no law and order situation, bad in Karachi, and everybody knows that we were having our uh, interior minister, we were having our mayor, and whatever we were having the space, we were working for the public. And nobody can say that at that time they were upset. They can, actually, they, are com they compare both the, you know, 2002 till 2007 and then 2008 till 2013. And then they're comparing that and they're not even thinking okay. of the okay, let me, let, uh, okay, let me at take that a, time let, we were having the power. And okay, let me, take, let me take a second view on that. Uh, Michelle, uh, let me take a second. Do you agree? Because MTM repeatedly says, and it's, it's almost a fair point, that because of the conflict with the... Interior, uh, the, the Home Minister, and we all, I'm, I don't want to repeat the whole, the whole, whole fiasco, but do you hold, like Mr. Jath, completely responsible for the security issues, other issues, NA250, or you don't, to be fair? I'm, I'm very confused. Why? I'm confused because who should I hold responsible? It's very clear. 
Khushbash Sujat is a very dear friend. In fact, we she she may remember we wanted her to join our party when she was not in politics, and we have mutual respect. But now uh, I would like to ask a question myself uh, because of my confusion. That she mentioned that things have deteriorated. She mm-hmm. mentioned that in the last five years things are much worse. Uh, her party has been in power, was in power in the last five years, except for the last thirty days or so. And who should I question? Should I question the People's Party, who are their coalition partners, for all what has happened in Pakistan? Should I question PMLN in Punjab for what is happening, or should I question the coalition partners, or should I question PTI? Is PTI responsible for what happened in the okay, last five years? Let me let me throw you. In. Okay, now now let me. This is this is very confusing. That but you I, are in government, you are out of government. Somebody else is I responsible. Agree, agree. We are not responsible. But I want to ask you a question. Uh, Arvai, running the city and the towns and security and the roads and the sewage is not really the responsibility of MNAs and MPAs. They're there to make laws. There's a bureaucracy and the civil service which runs the state. This completely got muddled up in the 80s. Thanks to Mrs. Yawal Haq, Waysad giving out money to, to parliamentarians to please them. And this has carried on so far. Now, let's be honest. Supposing you win, you know no, how. No, suppo- I, mean, I am, am promising. I'm giving you, giving you an example. DHA Clifton functions on its own. You can't do a thing over there. I I guess that's what I've been talking about in DHA. Yes, I, I believe to. I I believe there has to be legislation where DHA is run by the people who live in DHA rather than by the army appointees. This is what by we've CDC, been discussing. Yeah. Yes, this is what we've been discussing, and that should be an amendment in the law. Number one. Number two. I, when I go out, you, you see the people are poor. The people believe that the MNA and the MPA has has something to do, and I believe they do because whatever corruption happened in, in the laws sure. by Ziaul Haq when they started giving uh, out money, out money yeah. to the MNAs and the MPAs, I believe the local body system should be there, and I believe I am responsible for my constituency. I should struggle with the local bodies to put whatever projects in. I should struggle with the provincial government. For my constituency, the constituency in a parliamentary system is owned by the okay, people get, who Ms. get elected. Ms. Mariam Fahad has just tweeted, we will hold the person who gets elected from NH250 for all our issues. If not, why are they even asking for our vote? Exactly. I fully agree with that. I fully agree with Dasi. Now, after the 18th Amendment, right. especially, a lot of powers have been taken away from the National Assembly, except for trade, banking, certain law, judicial reforms, and defense and foreign policy. Everything has been given to the provinces. What one benefit Ms. Fajma Shudat had was that from PS113, there was also an MQM candidate. From PS112, I believe there was also an MQM candidate. From PS114, there was also an MQM candidate. When they talk about uh, having in, taking part in politics right now without fear, now you tell me, yesterday was a strike in Karachi. You know who called the strike. Could a citizen walk out in the street without fear? We've been living since the 90s in this city with fear every single day. At which corner of this city I'll okay. get mugged? Mr. Jaj, would you comment on that? I'm, I'm really short on time, so I'm going to be really quick. Actually, I can't hear him. Um, uh, Mr. Mr. Brown uh, said that there was a strike yesterday and, and MKM was responsible for it and that, that citizens have been living in fear since the 90s and they don't want to go on doing that. MKM is responsible when it's raining. Sometimes the people, people are thinking that MKM is responsible when the earthquake is coming. What is happening here? Because when something is not in our hands, Nowadays, you can see what is the situation going on inside MQM for our uh, uh, workers. Now, today, from my area, two workers have taken out, and nobody knows uh, who took them out. And I'm asking, and everybody is asking that they are gone. It's a very scary situation, Fessel, Okay. because the people are are standing outside the gate of their house. There are students in a school or college, they are working for the party, and because they are named by the party, that's why they have... Okay, I, I, I have just, just two nowhere. minutes left. Yeah. Uh, Dr. I, Alvi has I, a quick I, question. I, I would like on air to make a statement that all parties must have a free hand. I think in a democracy, they should be able to go out and work. But keep in mind, uh, and I want a free and fair uh, sure. election, but keep in mind, that Karachi has lived in a no-go situation in so many areas for the last 15-20 years. Agreed. And I think we have suffered that 
on uh, on behalf of, because the existing political parties forced that kind of system on Karachi. But I still want that it today for a free and fair election, every party should be free to go out and vote uh, and convince him for for its vote. Parties should be free, but, but they should not. But, but you should see, not forget about civic see, responsibility. But at the same time, I believe what MPM is feeling today. They should not feel it, they, but, but there is pressure. What MQM is feeling in put today, a lot of parties felt okay, during, the, during, during, the, during the governments in the last... So what MQM is feeling today... Uh, Mr. Jath has, has left us. I would like your quick comments, just a minute. What are you offering? Why you and why you? I'm speaking the truth. Every single issue which from which parties shy away from, I've spoken about in a manifesto on every public forum. I'm willing to address it. Go on my Facebook, Mohammed Gibran Nasser. Read it if you like it. Vote for me, but in any case, come out and do vote. But do you feel you can day. change things? I can be true to my voter, and I can be a constant voice. Do you think sanity. PTI can change things? Not the promises they're making, no. But they've got the huge machinery of PTI behind them. Yet they I, you I, feel. I, 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 I don't like the challenge. I don't no, like the challenge that. that they can't do what they are promising. We have delivered on so many fronts. It is very difficult to deliver. I am I'm, no, I'm no, glad this young man is, is challenging everything, but at the same time for him to make a statement that they can't. You have to see what we have delivered. We have held elections in, in, in sir, 75 like yeah, yeah, yeah. Because once you challenge, no, no, once you challenge, you see, yeah. once you challenge, you must hear the counter argument. Sure. You know, the party is democratic. This has had, this party but has had elections. External issues. Yeah, externally. Just one small point. What external issues? Just one point. They Security, law and order. Of course we can. Do you mean the five? Just one small point. Just one small point. The manifesto is filled with saying we are not going to fight the surrogate war of America. Take yes, out sixteenth and yes. take out a okay. I insist on take that. Out a I insist. State if you survive. want to, if you want to fight the surrogate war on America, we have gone through eight years of turmoil. We have lost hundred billion dollars. We have lost of... forty thousand people. And if you think you are still going to fight that surrogate war on the, uh, of America, then this country, country will, will, this country will not allow I have you run out of time. to do that. I have run out of time, but I think both of you need more airtime on this, what? and I'm going to try to organize. Uh, I have to, I have to end this tonight, but I will try to do. Continue this show at some point. Um, I, it was an interesting show. Three people, two I have known very well. I respect dearly, and he's a young gentleman. I also know respect. Thank you very much, all of you. Until next time. Good night.